joining us now, author Claire Dwyer. She joins us via Skype from Arizona, and she's going to be sharing some ice, uh, insights about uh, the book that Bishop Reed is holding right now, The Present Paradise. Thanks for being with us, Claire. Hi, thanks for having me. Good to be here. Um, well, I, I have a show here on Catholic TV called Encounter, and we, and we focus on uh, some saints that people might not have heard of. We call it obscure saints. In uh, your book, you're, you focus on one as well that's kind of lesser known, but still very amazing, St. Elizabeth of the Trinity. Tell us what attracted you to her. Yes, well, you're right. She is not very well known, although I find myself from talking about the book, there's like two camps of people. Some have loved her for decades, and I just think to myself, how did you know about her and uh, come to be friends with this saint that I only encountered a few years ago when she was still left? Um, and the majority of people are just meeting her for the first time um, in the last few years. She was only canonized in 2016. So she is a new saint in our canon, um, although she was uh, born around the turn of the century in France, so she's been around for a while. But I encountered her first of all, I was taking a class on the interior life at the Avila Institute. And one of the required readings was a retreat by a blessed Elizabeth of the Trinity. She wasn't even canonized at the time. And it was a series of reflections that she had written for her married sister, who was a stay at home mom with two young children. Hmm. And so I have six children. And at the time I was a stay at home mom, but I love the Carmelite spirituality. And St. Elizabeth, uh, with the Carmelite cloister nun, writing about the spiritual life for Mary. Wow. So for me, it was just really engaging and interesting. And she seemed to hold the key to this deep life of prayer that the cloister contemplative orders live every day. And my busy life as a wife and mom, what Elizabeth had to say to me was, you can know this life of prayer and intimacy with Christ that I know, and I'll show you how to do it. Claire Sophia Institute Press, who provide great service to the church. Uh, they released this present paradise earlier this year. Uh, I've been through this process myself. It's not an easy one to uh, author and then release a book. But what was it like to, to launch this book in the midst of a pandemic? Yeah. Well, launching it was one thing. I also wrote the book in the middle of the pandemic oh, with all of my children home from school, as so many of us experienced last spring. It's hard to believe it's been a year, but just as a, the deadline hit, thank goodness for deadlines. I had a deadline. I had a few months to finish the book and all the kids came home from school, <laughs> needed the computer, needed attention, you know, um, but God provides. And on the, you know, one thing about this past year is that while we couldn't go anywhere, we couldn't go anywhere. And God had us right where he needed us. And he had me right where I needed to be. And that was at home, fully present to my family, but also with the ability to just really focus and write. And sometimes that meant going in a closet to do it. But anyway, God provides. I'm grateful for you know, all of the technology that we have now. I've been able to do Zoom interviews and all kinds of things that even a few years ago, I don't think we would have been so um, able to do, but we figured it out. And so it's been a gift. It's been a grace to be able to virtually introduce this book to the world. And it's interesting about the book release as well, the timing because the spiritual journey uh, what St. Elizabeth can guide us through times of prayer, drought, or times of isolation as well. Would you share, share some thoughts about your own spiritual journeys? Sure. Well, I think one of the things that the saints can teach us is that the spiritual life, there are some things about it that we share in common. And it is a common experience for all of us to go through periods of dryness or darkness, even uh, what we call in the spiritual life aridity where we don't necessarily feel the presence of God and we just have to go to him by faith. St. Elizabeth of the Trinity was no different. Her time in the convent wasn't all just, you know, levitating and experiencing God around every corner. She definitely went through periods of darkness and dryness and knowing that the saints persevered. Um, her retreat for her sister that she wrote that I first encountered uh, was called Heaven in Faith because it what she was trying to explain is that we possess heaven through faith. We possess Christ through faith. It is that gift that he gives us to believe in him, even when all things seem dark. And even collectively, like we were talking about this past year, when we maybe don't have as much access to the sacraments 
or to the community or to parish life that we used to have. When things seem dark and dry and God doesn't seem to be immediately present to cling to him, to his promise that he is with us. That was one thing that I really learned from Elizabeth's life. How are you doing, clear with that levitation thing? You haven't been able to uh, work that into your spiritual life, have you? I haven't mastered that yet. In fact, I will say, actually, Elizabeth was not a mystic in the sense that she had great experiences. She had mystical graces in prayer, but she was a very ordinary person, um, just like the rest of us. And you know what? I know the Second Vatican Council called every one of us, no matter what our state in life, uh, to realize that fundamental call to holiness and the sanctification of lay people. Uh, you're a wife, a mom, a prolific writer. Um, I have to ask you, because I know people are curious about this book, because the kingdom of heaven is right there, it's at hand. It would be a great Mother's Day gift, a great Father's Day gift. Where can people get a copy? Thank you so much. Um, yes, well, like you mentioned, it's published by Sophia Institute Press. So you can go to sophiainstitute.com. It's also available on Amazon. Um, I have a website called eventhesparrow.com and both of the links are on there as well. And you can follow my work on Even the Sparrow. Well, very good. Uh, Claire, I gotta thank you so much for taking the time to be with us, uh, getting up so early and, and also doing us this service of providing us this great reflection on the spiritual journey of St. Elizabeth of the Trinity. May God bless you and your family, and thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much, Bishop, for having me. Okay, happy Easter. Happy Easter.